So let's talk about absolute values. So whenever we're talking about absolute values, we're talking about the modulus. Okay. So if you see these modulus, then we're talking about the absolute value. So what is the absolute value, for example? They give us, um, we have this. So the absolute value here is going to be just a hundred. What over what is the absolute value of negative hundred? This is going to be positive hundred. So in short, in modulus, everything which is going to come uh, to come out is going to be positive. Even if you have got negative, but what is going to come out is going to be positive. As simple as that. Okay, so I've got um, some examples here which we have to to work out. The first one is, um, let's start with this one, interesting one. So we want to find, um, we want to evaluate actually, we want to evaluate negative 75, so we have this. So it's just a matter of us bringing this one to be equal to 75, that would be the answer. Okay, because in the modulus, whatever is going to come out of the modulus is going to be positive. So. The modulus of negative 75 is just basically 75. Okay, let's now see another one. Let's say we have um, the modulus negative 7 minus negative 2, then we have this. So what are we going to do? From here we can see that this is going to be the same as it. Negative and negative is going to give us positive, then we have this. So this is going to give us negative what? Negative uh, 5. So we know that eh, everything which is supposed to come out from the mod modulus is going to be positive 5. So the answer is just basically positive four, uh, 5. Okay. What if we have something else? Let's say we have um, the modulus. Then again another modulus. We have 6. Let's say we have negative 6, then we have also a modulus, minus a modulus, then negative 4, modulus, then modulus. Okay, so first we are going to deal with the modulus which is inside, this and this one. That's when we come with um, the outside modulus. So from there we are going to say that uh, this is going to be 6, just minus, that one is going to be 4. So this is going to give us 6 minus 4, which is 2. So the final answer is 2. As simple as that. Okay. So let's say we have another one, which is um, negative 1. Okay. We have negative 1 minus, let's have now the modulus. Then we have also 1. Okay. We have negative 1 minus, then the modulus. Then we have um, again negative. We have the modulus here. At the same time, we also have what? We have one. We have negative one again. Then modulus again, modulus. So first, we have to work out with this modulus which is inside. Okay. So that is going to give us negative one minus. We have the modulus one minus. That one is going to be just one. Okay. Then we need to work out with what is going to be inside. So we have negative 1 minus, this is going to give us 0. So our final answer will be just equal to negative 1. Okay. Now we have uh, another question, which is um, negative 2 divided by negative 2, then this is in modulus. So we know that this is going to be negative 2 divided by 2 because the modulus of uh, negative 2 is just basically 2. So this is going to give us uh, negative 1 as uh, our final answer. Okay, so we have another last question which is um, the pi minus 9. Then we have this. So we know that we are not using a calculator. So this is going to come out as pi minus 9. So this would be the final answer. 
So in, in general, what we are, we are trying to say is uh, whenever we're talking about the absolute values, whatever is inside the modulus is going to come out as what? Yeah. The positive. So even if it's negative, even if it's positive, it's going to come out as what? Positive. Okay. So this is what we need to know uh, about uh, absolute values.